So my talk was from vSteams to Twitter streams, and it was about why OBGYN should get involved with social media and communication about reproductive health care, and why that matters. Patients need good information. Patients want to find the sources, and they're online. That's where people go to get health information. And I think as physicians, we have to meet our patients where they are. Especially with reproductive health care, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And that's not only at a one-to-one -one level with our individual patients, but that's permeated all the way to many levels in our government. So we really need to get the right information out there for our patients so they can be empowered in the right way. I get that a lot of physicians are reluctant to engage in social media. And the thing is, it can be as much or as little as you want. So engaging in social media could just be about sharing articles on your Facebook feed with your friends about what you think is good information. And eventually that information might build and they'll share it with their friends and they'll share it with their friends. So you haven't invested too much from a risk perspective or a time perspective. I think it's really important to be authentic. Whenever people meet me who've been following me online, they say, oh my gosh, you're just like I thought you would be. And so I think people can tell authenticity. It comes through. So make sure that you're using your voice when you're on Twitter or Facebook or social media. Don't use somebody else's. Just act the way you normally would. I think there's definitely some things doctors shouldn't do on social media. So for example, you have to be HIPAA compliant. You can't say things about patients, um, identifying information, that's absolutely wrong. I think it's also good not to talk about your day in a negative way because a patient you might have seen um, might be following you and you know that's just not good information to be putting out there. People don't need to know that. And I think the third most useful tip about you know what you should be careful about is think about a billboard test. Would you be happy with that piece of information being 50 feet tall on the side of a freeway? I think the number one thing that doctors can do, which is also the easiest, is just to click like when they read an article and to share it. That takes two clicks, you've done two things, and you've helped make that information move up the sort of um, the, the ladder on the internet, if you will, because it's all about traffic. So I think that's the number one thing people should do is share things that they find are good. The other thing that I think is really important is I think physicians should try to direct their patients to sites that they think has good, informa has good information. So, for example, your patients are going to be looking online regardless of what you're doing. So wouldn't it be better if they look on places that have good quality information? So what I hope people get from um, my talk is that they can be empowered to be active online um, to help build a better, better medical internet. The more people we have building, the faster we're going to build it.